We've got a $10 donation from Anonymous. It says, is this the place where I leave a comment? And another $10 donation from Anonymous. Just says, many comments. Alrighty, guys, and with that, we are going to toss it over to Aquas with his any percent speedrun of Cannon Spike. Take it away, Aquas. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, so welcome to Cannon Spike. This is originally an arcade game re released on the second Naomi hardware with a one to one port to the Dreamcast because the Dreamcast is just that awesome. So we're going to run into this. This is a bit of a shmup slash beat em up hybrid game made by a shmup developer, Psycho, and uh, published and sanctioned by Capcom. We're going to see a colorful cast of Capcom characters. And I'm going to use the one and only Arthur. Yeah, from yeah. Goblins. yeah. So we got Charlie, Sheba, Cammy, Simone, Baby Bonnie Hood, Mega Man. But Arthur is our guy. So we're going to start the timer when the player select uh, runs out here in three, two, two one. one. Go! Go! go. <laughs> oh. Very slow, but that's okay. Cannon spike seconds. <laughs> so, um, first four, uh, first four missions are going to be a little bit on RNG. They're randomizers. Um, we're going to be hoping to get the actual holy station place last, because that gives us an actual health um, item for us at the end. Um, but we'll see how it goes for that. We choose Arthur because he's even though he's slower than most of the actual players. He actually is a very heavy hitter. We're gonna be doing some uh, light attack, uh, light melees, heavy melees, and then missiles to attack. And he's also got a super move, which is basically kind of like a shmup um, invincible bomb. He'll get invincibility through it, and it can actually help us when it comes to defeating a certain amount of enemies. Um, Throughout the whole game, he's going to be doing some manipulation where he wants to hit a certain amount of enemies at a certain time in a wave mode that causes other enemies to appear, and then finally the actual final mini boss and bosses to appear. So right here, he's going to have a couple little, a little bit of shmup uh, bullet hell going on right here. Yeah, this stage is over. It's over. It so it's over. all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how good yeah, he is at ten, this game. We got ten missions here. So yeah, just taking out these uh, middle enemies very quickly so we can just get the boss to get in here as soon as possible. And then, yeah, you kill like one wave of enemies and that triggers like the next wave, these meet, these uh, gray and these gray soldiers. And like basically I just want to try to get them grouped up so I can kill them all at the same time. And yeah, Arthur is just, he's just OP taking down helicopters with his lance. <laughs> like good gracious, man, good gracious. I'm glad Arthur is getting the appreciation he deserves, okay? <laughs> yeah, he's, he needs, he deserves it, honestly. And when you play other characters like Cammy or Mega Man, they have some good moves and stuff, and everyone's super is a little bit different, but Arthur's is just so much optimal for this kind of run, so that's why we're going to be seeing that a little bit more later in the game, so you'll see it. All right, so we got this stage as the last one, which is uh, what I wanted, so hopefully I can uh, not yeah. get hit here and then get, nice. and get a health, good health refill. So as you can see, it's kind of based. This game is very Capcom fan fan service basically so you're going to see a lot of different things and obviously this is based on i like to think of house of the dead yeah, in my that's, opinion that's, more yeah, than yeah, resident that's, evil that's, but i take down these zombie dogs take down that ogre looking thing I, I don't think we actually capitalized on the other big advantage though with arthur and that's uh his bevy of moves that create big hit stun yes the, the hit stun his, his ability to hit stun uh enemies and bosses uh just Pretty much uh, just limits them to what they can even do. All right, so I'm taking some damage, but I'm gonna conserve a super there and just grab that health. And basically, he wants to do this one CC as the way to smush do it because um, if you are to do a game over, you do lose a lot of the actual super bombs basically um, that you're seeing on there on the screen on the top left, and that's yeah. gonna be really crucial for him to use in the later parts of the actual run. So he's doing these waves right now. He's doing them really, really, like kind of like manipulating them so that once they're gone, next one comes up. Oh. There he it's goes. a little slow. Like, I wanted to get that wave right as they came out, but it's all right. So we're and here comes the Kabuki, here. so. <laughs> Flying Fortress Kabuki. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's perfect. Beautiful. Boom. Look at that, dude. That's nice. Yeah, blow through this. Uh, get some cutscenes. Fight now a snowboard we're snowboarding. boss. <laughs> Video <laughs> games. So he's actually staying in a uh, specific position so that he doesn't get hit as so much. He's going to move a bit down, but he's just got going to be shooting some missiles at him. Yeah, just 
laying into him here. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's beautiful, yeah. dude. I'm saying, <laughs> dude. So, um, about, like, what, what are your sort of, like, move sets of sorts? Like, do you have, like, a light punch, a heavy melee attack? Yeah, exactly. Like uh, light melee, heavy melee, then light projectile, which is the machine gun, and then the uh, the, the missiles, which is his heavy projectile. And all the characters have different ones. Um, so I'm just like comboing those moves into each other uh, nonstop, essentially, to do a lot of damage. Okay, here's the mini boss here. Hit him with the heavy melee into the missiles, and he's gone. And then nice. that's the mini boss, and then the actual boss. And what's nice is when he does the missiles, it actually does a stun. So that gives him a little bit of a good combo right there. You're doing light melee, heavy melee, and then missile right after. Yeah, I mean, not everything gets stunned, but the things that do, it's very effective. And then I'm going to use a little manipulation here with the super to freeze this boss in place before it can get into the corner and just brute force nice. kill it because Arthur is so overpowered. <laughs> He's one of the top tier characters. Um, Cammy, there's a version of Cammy that's also very good. But Arthur is just, he's just well-rounded, and he's Arthur. Here Respect. comes that alligator. Yeah, there's an alligator here. <laughs> you don't need to kill this to advance the, the next wave. Just get rid of all the drones. He gives you a super. Knights come in. <laughs> I threw that gator. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we... Die. All right, go on. Uh, yeah, I, one of the other disadvantages, like, I mean, we know that Arthur is slow, but the other disadvantage with Arthur is he's got a really big hitbox, and that's pretty much... Dead. Yeah, definitely. But Boom. like with the other characters, like even though he's slower, he's such a heavy hitter, and that's what makes it yeah, really so, helpful. So here's the hit stone on this boss. Uh, this boss is just going to get locked down by the missiles just completely. Yeah. And like yeah. this is why Arthur is just so freaking good. So then, yeah. boom, and he's dead. There it goes. Nice. Just, there goes uh, Jungle yep. Master Sasuke. Bye. Just like that, dude. <laughs> In a blaze of glory. Now we're going to use the abundance of supers to uh, clean up the rest of the game at this point. Yeah. I'm going to line up all these enemies. Yeah, this is where super, super really is going to start putting its work in. And that's probably why his super is the best, because there's other supers. Like, Mega Man has basically a sonic move where he turns into a ball and just rolls around. With Arthur's, it's a straight shot, and you want to position it just right. Yeah, so it just, it just it beats all the enemies. So I missed this guy, and I want to take him out. Oof, took a bit of damage there. That guy got loose. But now I can try to I can stun this guy a bit. He's gonna go for something. Ooh, I knew he was going for that. Ooh, nice. There we yeah, go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That, if that hits me, like I take like four bars of health, so it's kind of rough. All right. This is now it gets to the final two missions. All so right. here, right here, we want to defeat these wolves yeah, lady really beauty. quickly. My lady beauty. So the reason why we want to defeat those wolves really quickly is because they'll actually do a lot of bullet hells at you, and you really don't want to get that. And ah, now we're trying health. to make sure that she doesn't go against the wall. So we're going to defeat her first uh, phase. Get out you of can here, do it. Get you can do it, Aquas. Come on. There, that's a good that's There a good we position. go. And now she's got her other form. We're going to start shooting some missiles at her. I'm going to do a su two super kill here. Nice. So brute force, super invincibility, and then the kill. Yeah, that's a very that deadly nice. boss. That's really close, dude. I got three supers. I'm looking good. This fight's also very specific. Yeah, this fight. Oh, gosh. Sting. So I want all those knights to die. Got them all. Good, good. Nice. Oh. Very good. Oh. Yeah, you want to be really particular where you're doing your super for this one because you want to get rid of all the other knights on the side because they can be really, really annoying, basically, when you're trying to fight Sting. Yeah, he's trying He's trying to get something done here. But I'm not, I'm not having it, man. <laughs> and he goes. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Is, Beautiful. That clone attack is very deadly if you let it get out of hand. Our last two, final mission. Last here we go. Bosses. Final mission. Here we are. We got two forms here. Just gotta do oh, a so super right good. here. There we go. Oop! Take a little hit there. I can I can I can manage that. Okay, I'm gonna play it a little safe here. Ugh. And then now we got one more farm. Time's gonna be once that yellow is gone. Time to buy back the farm, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and, and time. time. There you go. That was Cannon Spike. Easy game, easy life. And there you go. Arthur is actually in this armor. As you're going to see, like, really, really quickly, he jumps out in his yeah, the, little parachute. Yeah, the base is exploding. This is the lore. He's got the classic boxers. Yep. For there he there is. There you there go. Is. Hey. Look at the fans. <laughs> the strawberries on the boxers. <laughs> 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 no, that's a good point. That's a good point. 
He's new and improved. He practiced, okay? <laughs> All right, so when you 1cc, you actually go to a second loop, and then the game ends. But this is any percent, and we did get the ending where Arthur escaped the base. And uh, that, is, that is game over. So thank you very much, everyone. I'm just going to put my initials in here, AQY. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. And there you guys go, Thanks. Cannon Spike for Dreamcast. Give it up to Aquius, dude. You did a fantastic job. Excellent job. Got yeah. the great RNG and everything, so. 721. Wow. 721? Wow. Damn. That's actually really good. <laughs> uh, I can't even remember what my PB is right now. Maybe yeah, 715 or something. I don't know. That was a great oh, run, wow. though. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, great run. Very good. good job. Um, just a quick shout-out to my coach for uh, waking up in the, uh, this morning. <laughs> and also, I, they learned the game just uh, in a little uh, session of Can Spike uh, education. So, yeah, shout-out to them. And thank you very much. They'll do it for me. Woo. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. Alrighty, congratulations, Aquas, on that amazing round of cannon spike. We'll go ahead and get some uh, donations going through here while we wait on Smooth Operative's upcoming run of Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend. We have a $250 donation from Happy Hippo. It says, hey everyone, greetings from Germany. Happy to donate again to a great cause and to the GDQ staff. Thanks for another great event. P.S. Cute chat is cute. Jesse Lockhart came in with a $25 donation, says, got to show some love to my man Aquas and his sick cannon spike runs. Send forth the whores. He will slay them. Good luck, Aquas. Go forth dauntlessly and make rapid progress. I have a $25 donation from And the Comment Says. And the Comment Says. And the Comment Says. And the Comment Says. No Rook comes in with a $250 donation. Says, I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of said comment. And Ocelot gives us $50. Says, games done quick equals amazing. Snooky1289 comes in with a $500 donation. They say, may the world continue to love and care for each other as GDQ has done for these past years. Thank you so much. Spencer176 comes in with a $165 donation. They said, I figured that it was time to donate some money since I finally caught the event live after enjoying the VODs and YouTube videos for a few years. Thank you for bringing such, a, such great content year after year. Infinis comes in with a $50 donation and says, y'all are breathtaking. Keep up the hard work, everyone. Yeah. 
Anonymous comes in with a $20 donation and says, this space is intentionally left blank. And we have another $150 donation from Anonymous with no comment. Thank you again so much for that generous donation. Mecha Arrow comes in with $40. The comment just says, the comment. 